Kalyan Singh has now said that he is not apologetic about demolition of Babri structure and Narendra Modi should also not seek apology for 2002 riots as it wasn't his fault. He tried his best to control riots. What is the definition of secularism? That's what, uh, um, that's what Kalyan Singh is asking. He said uh, whatever Nitish Kumar has said is his personal opinion and uh, appeasing uh, it's all being done to appease a particular community for vote and target Hindu targeting Hindus isn't the true definition of secularism so Kalyan Singh uh, who was re-inducted into the BJP has said he's not going to apologize for the demolition of Babri Masjid remember he was the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh at that time and the same breath he's added that Narendra Modi too doesn't need to apologize for 2002 post Godra riots. We have our senior political editor Javed Ansari now joining us. Uh, Javed, uh, well, these statements that are coming in from the leaders only goes to show how polarized the next election could be. Uh, there is only talk about apology, riots, uh, and who is to be blamed for what really happened. Uh, this isn't a progressive election we are likely to see. Well, it, it will be highly unlikely, and this is and. It, come to think of it, elections are almost a year away. They're close to a year away. And already the atmosphere, the political environment has heated up so much. Uh, one only shudders to think what will happen once we, once we are ready, you know, when elections are, are on hand. It, political parties and, and leaders are cutting across political lines will be well advised to, re, to keep their powder dry and to refrain from saying things which could inflame passions. Because, you know, given the... Given the past, we know uh, how strong words and how utterances like this can lead to problems. And therefore, and, Mr. and it's not surprising that Mr. Kalyan Singh is speaking in this vein because he's, he's actually trying to carve a niche for himself as a hardliner and therefore he's just trying to refurbish that image and endear himself to, to the likes of Mr. Narin Modi who are likely to head the BJP's Prime Minister in campaign. We also have Atish Shivastav on the phone line with us uh, for the comments that have been made by Kalyan Singh, the then Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, who's saying there's no need to apologize for Babri Masjid demolition. Uh, Atish, it appears BJP leaders, at least some of them, uh, are wearing the Hindutva hardline mask again. Well, that's probably is the speed of the hour because BJP thinks that this is something which can help them to polarize and unite the cadres all across the country because... RSS and VHP and BJP, all three, when they met some in February, there was a clear diktat passed by RSS and VHP that we need to go back to Hindutva and become more hardline. So this seems to be step one. You see leaders like Kalyan Singh, who has, uh, who has a tainted figure with him, who has been associated with hardline Hindutva. So he is coming out and supporting Narendra Modi. So these are things which it seems to be a well-planned activity, but it may not be... To, that good for Narendra Modi because if you carefully notice that Narendra Modi since last three four months has been definitely trying to get an image of Mr. Development. He has been ignoring and skipping away all and any kinds of meat which has Hindutva involved in it. He has only been speaking about development, but this is a politics within the party which is uh, which also has been activated now. All right, we have JDU's Devesh Chandra Thakur uh, now joining us on the phone line for a reaction. Mr. Thakur, I'd like to know from you, uh, given these comments that have come from Kalyan Singh, who was the uh, Chief Minister at that time of Uttar Pradesh when Babri Master demolition took place, uh, the comments where he's saying there is no need for him to apologize for demolition and in the same way there is no need for Narendra Modi to apologize for what happened in 2002 in Gujarat. Uh, with this sort of uh, entrenched Hindutva agenda, do you see uh, your ride with your ally, the BJP, is going to be smooth come 2014? Well, uh, I, uh, with due respect to Mr. Kalyan Singh, I, uh, I think our leader and my party has made uh, our stand absolutely clear and uh, I don't want to go into the debate of uh, uh, talking as to what is secularism and what is not and what is communalism. Now, if Mr. Kalyan Singh thinks uh, that the demolition of the Babri Masjid was something for which he need not apologize and uh, then uh, even after that he wants to say that what is the definition of secularism, that's uh, something very funny and very contradictory. But uh, I would not like to go into that debate. They can have their own view. They are entitled to a view. They have a, 
they are entitled as a hope in their opinion the whatever they hold mm-hmm. we have a we have a right to have our opinion also 